Hello, Jen here, and I am popping in to re-film this little intro to um, my July Build-A-Page Kits Part 1. I'm doing this in a few different parts, and some are going to be for July, some are going to be for August, and as I was filming, I kind of have been filming multiple videos all in one go, so in the editing process, I think I've missed a few intros and a few goodbyes, and so that's what I'm doing here. I'm just popping in to make sure this all makes sense to you. So this is going to be me putting together three of my page kits, kind of getting a good start. That'll be part one. Part two will be me finishing up the five page kits. Hopefully it all makes sense in the end. Um, definitely I will have lots of fun layouts and projects done. So at the end of the day, that's all that matters. And now I'm going to stop rambling and let you jump into um, my page kits. So when I was going to grab my page protectors that I use uh, for build a page, I realized I never actually showed you guys the, the pages that I created for June. Um, I kind of didn't <laughs> didn't post properly and I, I'm going to have to go back and even check if I posted the kits. I filmed the kits, I'm not sure if I posted them. So, so you guys are getting a little bit of a sneak peek at what I created in June before I've actually shown any of these videos. Um, but I'm definitely going to have to get them up because they're like a month late. Whoops! Uh, but I want the page protectors, so let's go ahead and just give you a give you an idea of what I did. So here is one layout that I created. Um, I love this unicorn paper, and I was at first thinking I was going to do something with my nieces, and then I found this picture of Kaylin kind of wearing some crazy pants, they're like uh, galaxy pants, and then this rainbow shirt, and she's fishing for toys at a Menchie's. And so I thought, okay, it's kind of fun, it's whimsical, it's quirky, and so this paper suits it really well, so that's what I put together. And uh, again, you'll see the kit, but here's what I have left over, is just pieces of the papers and a few bits of the ephemera. That was one kit. This was another kit that essentially was um, the leftover pieces of solid paper from my Fancy Pants 6x6 paper pad. I used a good chunk of those papers and just had about two inches of, of each one left. Um, so that's what I backed my stars with. This was a cut file that I cut apart and put into different positions. This was all following sketches for Christie's um, 30 Days of Sketches. It was the best of 30 days. And so there are sketches to go along with all, all of these. When I do an official share, I will show the sketches as well. But this one turned out really fun. Then this layout, so I put this layout together using a lot of Paige Evans Scenic Root collection. I added some big butterflies and um, yeah, it was kind of simple. This one, the sketch was a lot of layers. So there's a layer here, there's lots of little layers in here, and then the butterflies. No journaling or anything like that. This actually is part of this same trip. So. Um, I was already kind of thinking ahead to getting some of this vacation and kind of trip travel albums scrapped. So that's what I have. This is a layout that I actually showed the process for on TikTok. So it was just a really quick kind of um, put together layout. The background I already had done and so I just needed to add a few embellishments and kind of put it all together. Uh, again, following a sketch. So not a lot left over from that kit. I basically used everything except this one chunk of paper. So that really was a kit that I was able to kill. And then this last layout was um, to finish using up all of these Kaiser Craft collections. So I've already done several layouts with these that you guys have seen. I love scrapbooking all of our travels in the summer. For whatever reason, I just feel like that's the right time to scrapbook them. And so 
that's what that picture is and I've added some stickers so that was quick I just wanted to show you guys that stuff so I could go ahead and get my page protectors that I like to put my kits into and get building so number one is two pictures that I have right here um so I definitely want you know kind of summery oceany stuff to go with this so pop those there for a second and I'm going to start by going into my kit because it's out so I might as well use what's here first. And I think in the Sunkissed collection there's a few things so I think I might raid that. I might use some of the Sherbert collection too. So let me pull that. Let me at least pull it out, yeah. Okay. And then if I can't find stuff here that I like, I will just dig into some more stash. So, I've got the puffy stickers. Let's find... some paper. I can already see here, I've got like bits of this blue. Blue, blue, blue. So that works, obviously. This branding strip has that green, so we could kind of go with some blues and greens. And then um, maybe some yellow, because there's yellow in this wooden carving. So yeah, I think that might be what I do so let's oh here's the branding strip again because obviously you get two of each page so I've got two of these blue ones so we'll put that there move all these stickers and stuff out of the way this is hearts on the other side I think I might stay away from the pinks best ever I kind of like that that's in red because the other color that really stands out here is my son is in a red t-shirt and then thirdly the boat is green so if I kind of go blue green red I think I can actually make that work just from these papers so before I start cutting things apart let's see here pink no Rainbow, mm, but that could work. That could work. It's got the blues and the greens. I don't know how I'm going to, maybe like that. I don't know. I don't know how I'll orient them. But then I could add a bunch of red, kind of. Okay. That could work. This could also work. Okay, so I think that I'm good with this paper, these bits of blue, this little bit of green. I'm gonna go ahead and kinda tuck this stuff away. Dive into some of this stuff. From the cut apart sheet, I like this label, the yellow label, um, maybe the banner. Do I wanna cut those out individually or do I wanna leave that as a strip? Well, I have two of this paper, so I could cut these ones out individually, leave the other one as a strip of paper if I wanted to. But I think I'll, actually cut out all of these and I'll cut mm, since I'm cutting them out I can go ahead and kind of cut on this white here okay that also maybe this guy and yeah I was gonna say this one as well but maybe the star because I feel like that's more nautical. Fussy cutting is something I can definitely do while I'm on vacation. I just bring my little cutter bee fussy cutting scissors and I can cut to my heart's content 
so I don't mind that. So I don't need to have everything here be super clean. It's definitely something that you can do in your hotel room and you know when the kids are winding down or if they're at the pool and you don't want to swim or whatever you can bring bring that kind of stuff to work on so I don't mind doing that I also think I'll pull this out because I need a little bit more of this kind of darker teal color and obviously everything in this is sun quotes and stuff so it's not really nautical I definitely want to make sure I have some elements that are more on that nautical side so I've got to got to pull some of those elements out so there's that I think the rest of that I will keep uh, let's see if there's anything in the ephemera pack I'm not going to open it up every time I'm just going to take a look so there's a yellow one of these banners a dark blue one but I already have a dark blue one I could pull out some of the hearts maybe do I want to do that or you know what maybe I'll use the clouds it's kind of a cloudy day and we're out on the water so I think I think that kind of goes with the motif I could add a couple of little clouds do I want anything else I think I think no go to my sticker sheet here um, the just chillin might work because you know that's what we were doing we were just chillin and going whale watching so I'm just gonna cut that right out once it's cut out of the sheet I kind of don't have an excuse I've got to use it <laughs> that's that's my logic anyways and then any of these um, salty for sure. Obviously we're by the ocean. Having so much fun. Good vibes only because that's what you need when you're whale watching. Holiday highlights. Definitely a holiday highlight for us. Except for Sebastian who got super seasick. Poor little guy. Only when we were out on open sea, he's fine when we're in a harbor. We've done harbor tours before and he's totally okay, but as soon as he lost sight of any kind of ground, he was he was done for. Um, okay, so I think that's good. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop all of this. Oh wait, no, one more thing. That's right, there are clouds on here. So I really want to use those. How am I going to do this? I'm going to rearrange my stickers. Let's put all of this into a page protector. And then when I actually start to pull out some of those other bits of ephemera, because I think I got a lot here with the stickers and some die cuts, then I can add a few extra things. Number two, I think is just one picture. Yep. So this is my kids. Uh, on that same day, we went to a place and it was just a cute little kind of um, touch tank aquarium. So here they are with some starfish. So let's see, there we go. Uh, let's put one of these to the test and see. Like, no. These are gonna be really hard for me to pick from. I, I feel like these two pages specifically, I'm gonna end up scrapping both sides because I only have one of each. Big mistake, I should have bought two, but I wasn't thinking at the time. Same with this one. I'll probably do a, a layout on both sides. I've done it before. I will probably do it again. I got this one for this side, but it's obviously not really gonna work for that. This could though. Ooh, that's kinda neat. Okay, that could work. Yeah, I'm gonna go with this. 
So I definitely know I have lots of starfish stuff. So I'm going to start because I can see two right here. Yep, just the two. I'll cut those out. Actually, I'm going to do the same thing. Let's see if I can move some stuff around here. Maybe I'll keep some of these cute little hearts. I've got three there. Let's add a pink one. And what else? And we'll cut this out. I don't remember if there was any starfishy stickers. I don't think so. But I can definitely put like holiday memories on there and uh, what else? Together, oh time together maybe. This is one thing that all three of my kids, I only had three kids at the time, uh, loved. None of them are afraid of touching any of this. They just really love starfish. So we'll go with that. I don't know if there was any starfish in here. I don't see any. Which is interesting that they have it in the, in the puppy stickers but not really anywhere else in the collection. But since I did pull out some of those hearts, I think I should probably use some of these hearts as well. So I have, so we'll leave that there. Let's look and see if there's any of these that work. We're using teal, so let's go for this one that says our summer. And Do we want to do sweet or cheers or feeling fine? Kind of, I don't know, is that weird? I don't know. You know what, I'm gonna use it because it's a touch tank and um, you're kind of having to like touch and feel all the stuff that's in it. So we're just gonna say that that works and, and makes total sense. Okay, do I have any bits of paper? I know that I do actually. I have some of this, which I can use the darker pink, and then also there's little patches with some orange. So I might be able to cut this in a way where I can have some of this showing, and then also use the pink. So there's some extra paper. What's the, it's the pink, okay. So that works. Anything else? I know I did have some other, maybe not. Okay. Then I'm also gonna go into here and pull out some of these. Just so I can get a little bit more. So there's some teal and some orange and some yellow. Oh no, I didn't use yellow, not yellow. Do I just want circles? How do I want to do this? Amazing. And one more orange piece. Decisions, decisions. That says together. I don't think that's quite. I know I already have something that says time together, but maybe I'll just do the plain orange. There we go. That works. Do I want any of this now? I do. I'm going to take some yellow and I'm going to put a yellow over here. And I'm gonna put this kind of red over here. Uh, a couple more red things, I think. I'm gonna put a happy, and I'm gonna put this. Yep. And then I'm not gonna put the yellow. I have some pieces of yellow, but I was missing red. I think I have lots of the dark blue. I have this kind of like teal color blue. It was really just the red that I think I was missing. Or do I only have one yellow thing? I do only have one yellow thing, so hold on, maybe. No, maybe I'll pull some yellow out of the other sheet. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so I've got this, this, this. I'm also gonna grab the big oops, pack here because this has some pink in it. And I see right here, 
This says stay curious, which is perfect for that. What else can I put? I could add a couple of tickets in here as layers because you do have to buy tickets to get into, right? And then here I can put this um, right here right now. So that works, I think. And I want the piece that says admit one. It's not really, and I could do that. Yeah, I think that works. So I've got some teal, some orange, and then the pink. Perfect, okay. I have to admit, I do actually really like that these kits keep me kind of using up my stuff, but I also feel like I don't have to overload them. Um, I don't know, I don't have to compensate, I guess, for not having an idea. I feel like sometimes that's what I'm doing. I'm throwing stuff together, and so I feel like I have to compensate by just adding more and more stuff because I'm not really sure what direction I'm going in. But when I've been making these kits, for some reason, I've really toned that down. And I do make kits all the time, even before I was doing this series, I started making kits with the very first crop I ever went to because I didn't have a big fancy um, scrapbooking bag that I could bring all my stuff in and so I had to be really, really smart about how I brought things and how I packed because I just had like a regular kind of duffel bag type thing. Um, so I've been making kits for like, I don't know, since before Kaylin was born, yeah. So over 17 years. Um, but I, I feel like I'm really enjoying having everything be a little bit more simple. And then the thing that I keep reminding myself of is that I do have stuff right here. So if I'm working with a kit and there's just something missing, I can grab the stuff that's right here. Uh, or like right now, I just saw, because I've pulled a bunch of stuff out of my How to Kill a Kit with Style kit, I just saw this stuff. This is the um, Summer Lights collection, and I'm looking to see if there's a starfish. There is not a starfish on here, but had there been one, I could have just easily cut that off and added it really quickly. So, I don't know. I feel like I have a very relaxed approach to making kits right now. The next two pictures, Right, number three, number three is just some views of the ocean. They're kind of dark because you can see it was quite overcast in this picture. And so there's a bit of a shadow right here and that's why that looks so much darker because it was just quite shadowy. And then this is just a different angle. So this I think kind of goes like that like that um, anyways so I think I want some colors to kind of brighten it up a little bit so I'm gonna go ahead let's see I think this might be too much it just doesn't quite fit and I don't think stars quite fit either but I'm toying with the idea of this. If I matted it really well, cut the whites off of here and matted this really well, that might work. So I'm gonna leave that out. The rainbows are not really calling to me. The clouds are though, but yeah, no, the clouds are. Look, that works. So what if I use these two papers in some way 
And then I also think what I can do is grab, I knew that this would come back into play. This stuff, so not the stars. And maybe not this. But these colors, I could definitely do something like, you know, put the, the clouds, put this, and then tuck a bunch of this in. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. Now let's get some ephemera. I'm not sure if any of this, sunny smiles, happy days might work. Uh, hello. Maybe the hearts. Yep, those kind of go. Um, a little bit of yellow, no, no. And not that either. Sweet memories, that would actually work maybe. I know it's probably referring more to like the stuff with the watermelons and stuff, but I think that works. All of this says sunshine, sunshine, sunshine. Nope, I don't want any of that. Anything from here? No, I don't think so. Stickers. Stay cool, sun kiss. Re recharge works. And let's get away. And no worries. That all works. Okay. Let me just double check my other full sticker sheet in case there's something else here. No, I think that's probably good. Yep, okay. And I think instead of adding some of the stuff from the Sherbert collection, I'm gonna wait to pull out some of the other embellishments I have and just put a few different things here. So I kind of am just mixing things up a little bit. Um, so let's get a page protector and we'll pop that one. That one came together super quick, super quick. Okay, and that is the end of part one. Um, so we'll leave it there. I think there's lots and lots of stuff going on. This is already almost a half an hour long video. So part two will be the other two pages and then just beefing up some of these kits with some extra stuff. You can kind of see the state of my desk here. I've been working hard guys. I've been doing lots and lots of things. So uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. All of these pages are coming up soon. So all week long, you're gonna see lots of fun process videos. Please go and check out the other ladies who join in. We have Sheila on Instagram. We have Moira and Christy and Kristen and Shannon. And so they would love to have you go drop by and say hello and see what they're creating. Thank you, thank you so, so much. Click subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, happy scrapping. Bye. Bye. Thanks to me. To what button? Turn my channel.